Dzieciństwa razy się nie zdarza i nie zdarzy. Z tej przyczyny zrodziliśmy się bez wprawy i pomrzemy bez rutyny. Choćbyśmy uczniami byli najtępszymi w szkole świata, nie będziemy repetować żadnej zimy ani lata. Żaden dzień się nie powtórzy, nie ma dwóch podobnych nocy, dwóch tych samych pocałunków, dwóch jednakich spojrzeń w oczy. Wczoraj, kiedy Twoje imię ktoś wymówił przy mnie głośno, tak mi było, jakby róża przez otwarte wpadła okno. Dziś, kiedy jesteśmy razem, odwróciłam twarz ku ścianie. Róża? Jak wygląda róża? Czy to kwiat, a może kamień? Czemu ty się zła godzino z niepotrzebnym mieszasz lękiem? Jesteś, a więc musisz minąć. Miniesz, a więc to jest piękne. Uśmiechnięci, ku objęci. Spróbujemy szukać zgody, choć różnimy się od siebie jak dwie krople czystej wody. bacchetta di mandrache il mio ordine è immediato fai tornare i bei tempi del passato Processes that have been established by evolution long ago in animals that are far simpler than we are and that are aimed at giving rapid answers to problems that face an organism. When you have an emotion, when you have the emotion fear, for example, you allow the organism that has it, and by the way, this can go all the way down to invertebrates, you allow the organism to respond even without you thinking, 
and even in organisms that can't think. So you can see the beauty of evolution giving emotions to creatures because that would be a way of saving them. That would be a way of allowing them to stay away from a threat or endorse an opportunity. A threat, for example, from a predator uh, or from some kind of environmental danger, opportunities that largely come in the form of food and sex. So the emotions guide an organism, even if it does not think, into behavior that is conducive to the betterment of the organism and the survival of the organism. But let's make this clear, we are emoting all the time. There is no such thing as a mind without emotion. We have a mind with images flowing, all those interesting things, pictures of the world or sounds of the world. And we also have, in response to every one of those images, some kind of emotion and some kind of feeling that comes on the heels of that emotion. So we are not necessarily thinking machines, we are feeling machines that think. Now, the, when we acquire this great beauty of our minds with, with the profusion of images that we generate in the cerebral cortex, we can then combine them with the images that are being generated out of emotions and which are called feelings of emotion. And it is this complexity that allows us to not just respond with stock answers, which are the emotional answers, you could call them the animal responses, but also with ways in which we use reasoning, we use knowledge, we use logic, and that allows us to construct responses that are different from the emotional ones. So if you come and provoke me and you hit me, instead of my responding by shooting a gun at you, I might decide to argue with you. And we, we have that shift that occurs, especially in human beings, when they have the possibility of not resolving everything by deploying an emotion. They have the possibility of thinking with emotions and in parallel to emotions, and in fact, even control emotional responses, the, the anger response and the fear response being quite typical, and also a variety of other responses, like, for example, the responses we have to sexual desire or to food desires. Uh, we don't necessarily do everything that we would like to do. Uh, we have a way of curbing those um, appetites and enthusiasms. And, and, and that's the richness that our mind has uh, reached. But let's be very attentive to this. The fact that we are capable of thinking, reasoning, and having this incredible construction uh, at the very high level of the mind does not mean that we have forgotten about emotions. The emotions are still here, and the feelings are still here, and they are accompanying everything we do. So uh, we have the best of both worlds. We have the emotional world that animals have, uh, with their guidance, sort of autopilot guidance systems, which are very convenient. And then we have this other layer of complexity that we have put on top of it, which comes out of our rich minds in a society with lots of interactions with other creatures, and in which knowledge and logic uh, and reasoning allow us to modify the responses of emotions or create responses that are entirely new. So, for example, the, 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 the big change from coercive power uh, to the power of reason is one of the major changes in cultures, which of course is expressed in lesser violence, which is quite dominant today. We realize that there's much less violence today than there used to be, say, 300 years ago, and even 100 years ago. The world is pretty bad as it is, but it's much better than it used to be. And that is a result of this continued uh, accrual of knowledge and reasoning that goes against certain basic emotional responses.
la vera vita è quella del sogno. Si, it took 500 years for someone to notice something hidden in plain sight. His doctor noticed the shape of the human brain. Message being that the divine gift does not come from a higher power. Stop! 
brother And then you can help each other Watch the tyrants burn in the fire that they have Look at the cycles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. Uh, why don't you try counting sheep? <laughs> that doesn't do any good. I'm afraid of them. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Don't you think the wizard could help him, too? I don't see why not. Why don't you come along with us? We're on our way to see the wizard now, to get him a heart. And him a brain. I'm sure he could give you some courage. Well... Wouldn't you feel degraded to be seen in the company of a cowardly lion? I would. <laughs> oh, of course not. <laughs> Gee, that's, that's awfully nice of you. My life has been simply unbearable. Oh, well, it's all right now. The wizard will fix everything. It's, it's been in me so long. I just got to tell you how I feel. Well, come on. Yeah, it's sad, believe me, missy, when you're born to be a sissy without the feminine vibe. But I could show my prowess be a lion, not a mouse, if I only had the nerve. I'm afraid there's no denying, I'm just a dandelion, a fate I don't deserve. I'd be brave as a blizzard. I'd be gentle as a lizard. I'd be clever as a gizzard. If the wizard is a wizard who will serve, then I'm sure to get a brain, a heart, a home, the knife. Oh, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Here he is, the wizard, the wizard, if ever a wizard there was. If ever, oh, ever a wizard there was, the wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. I read a theory once that the human intellect was like peacock feathers, just an extravagant display intended to attract a maze. All of art literature, Beethoven, Mozart, William Shakespeare, Michelangelo, and the Empire State Building. Just an elaborate mating ritual. Maybe it doesn't matter that we have accomplished so much for the basest of reasons. But of course, the peacock can barely fly. It lives in the dirt, pecking insects out of the muck, consoling itself with its great beauty. Never be hungry again. No, nor any of my food. If I had to lie, steal, cheat, or kill, as God is my witness, I'll never be hungry again.
starts the process of opening offshore areas to job-creating energy exploration. Missions Arctic leasing ban. Missions Arctic leasing ban. Missions Arctic leasing ban. Opportunity is everything. Exactly. And for example, I got this one kid, right? Um, went, to, went to school for environmental science, something like that. He was bogged down by student loans. Turns out his mother needed triple bypass surgery. Easy. Right. Horrible situation. Sure. Terrible. But we got him in at the market at the right time, chose the right stock. We gave him the right guidance. Boom, overnight, changed his entire life. You know, got to put his mother into the best hospital in New York City. It didn't work out for her. Granted, she passed away, unfortunately, but we gave him that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? It's just about setting up the right team, and then overnight, your life can change. What is a, what if it was an intern? Uh, what is an intern making a, a deal like that? Well, in that situation, I mean, in that particular trade, and with one trade, north of half a million dollars. And I do that for anybody, you know, anybody that needs the proper guidance. Can you say that again? Just the way you said it. Just the same way. I don't know what you're talking no. about. Oh, come on, you know what I'm talking no, about. I don't I just know say the same thing. I think what Jordan just did is he, if I'm not mistaken, no. you just tried to bribe a federal no, officer. No, technically no. I didn't bribe anybody. No, no, that's not the that's, No, no, no. Jordan. According to the U.S. Criminal Code, there needs to be an exact dollar figure for an exchange oh. of services that would not hold up in a court of law. You that's both not how no, I heard it. No, 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 no. <laughs> you get oh. the beautiful girls there. It's wonderful. <laughs> All right, get the fuck oh. off my boat. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other. Real soon. I'm sure. Good luck on that subway ride home to your miserable, ugly fucking wives. I'm gonna have Heidi lick some caviar off my balls in the meantime. Hey, you guys wanna take some lobsters for your ride home? Fucking miserable pricks. I know you can't afford them. Fucking cheap fucks. Fucking miserable pricks. Hey, fellas! Look what I found in my pocket! Look! A year's salary right here! You know what I call them? Fun coupons! 
coupon. See that? A fun coupon. Come on, the Snoop John B. Grandfather and me. Around Nassau town, we did a road. Drinking all night. Got into a fight. Well, it feels so broke up. I want to go up. children to be educated. They do not want you to think too much. That is why our country and our world has become so proliferated with entertainments, mass media, television shows, amusement parks, drugs, alcohol, and every kind of entertainment to keep the human mind entertained so that you don't get in the way of important people by doing too much thinking. You had better wake up and understand that there are people who are guiding your life and you don't even know it. Because you people and 62 million other Americans are listening to me right now. Because less than 3% of you people read books. Because less than 15% of you read newspapers. Because the only truth you know is what you get over this tube. Right now, there is a whole, an entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. This tube is the gospel, the ultimate revelation. This tube can make or break presidents, popes, prime ministers. This tube is the most awesome goddamn force in the whole godless world. And woe is us if it ever falls in the hands of the wrong people. And when the largest company in the world controls the most awesome goddamn propaganda force in the whole godless world, who knows what shit will be better for truth on this network. So you listen to me. Listen to me. Television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion tamers, and football players. We're in the boredom killing business. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds, we're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is real. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube. You ate like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. <laughs> Can you listen? In order to listen, one has to amplify. If the sound is low, one needs to amplify it. And it's just like in the case of the DNA. 
If one has a very small amount of DNA, for example, even a single molecule, one needs to amplify it in order to sequence and to study the DNA. My most important invention was the use of the FIT29 DNA polymerase for DNA amplification. It is widely used in biotechnology and in medicine. When I finished my PhD thesis, I decided to go to New York with the Nobel Prize winner, Severo Ochoa, where I spent three years. When we came back to Spain, uh, my husband and myself, we started the FIT29 work together. After a few years, uh, my husband, that was very generous and wanted me to be independent, decided to quit the FIT29 work and start a new, a new work by himself so that I could be independent for the FIT29 work. From that time on, I just became Margarita Salas and not my husband's wife. When I presented the, the work on the FH529 DNA polymerase, USB, uh, asked me whether I was going to patent the polymerase, and I said yes. So they helped me with the patent. The patent was very profitable from the economic point of view. For me, research is really a passion. I do not conceive life without research. Majesty's government, I am here tonight. I know the sacrifice you have made to be here. Many of you, I know, are estranged from the lives you once had. Yet I feel your spirit tonight. For 50 years, we have labored peacefully to secure the vote for women. We have been ridiculed battered and ignored. Now we have realized that deeds and sacrifice must be the order of the day. We are fighting for a time in which every little girl born into the world will have an equal chance with her brothers. Never underestimate the power we women have to define our own destinies. We do not want to be lawbreakers. We want to be lawmakers. Nada más. Mi nombre es Abigail Ruiz. Soy hermana de Vanessa Ruiz, asesinada el primero de febrero del 2019 por el chofer del transporte público donde ella viajaba. Nos están asesinando. Nos están Abigail's sister, Vanessa Ruiz, a 22-year-old student, was raped and murdered on her way home. Mostly women. I tempi della mia giovinezza è stata donna, voleva dire rinunciare a qualunque diritto. Oggi, a distanza di quasi un secolo, io parlo dell'inizio del secolo, io vedo con gioia che nei paesi ad alto sviluppo scientifico, tecnologico, quale il nostro, alla donna sono aperte enormi possibilità. Io ritengo che oggi particolarmente il problema è ancora molto acuto 
nei paesi del sud del mondo, in particolare io parlo di quello più vicino a noi, dei paesi dell'Africa e degli altri paesi dove ancora la donna è sottoposta a una incredibile differenza col sesso maschile. Tuttavia, malgrado questo, malgrado l'analfabetismo che colpisce più, molto più la donna dell'uomo, ha dimostrato tale capacità, tale impegno che io ritengo molto vicino il giorno nel quale effettivamente non soltanto pre sarà pre identica nelle possibilità al maschio, ma pre sarà superiore al maschio. Il futuro dell'umanità per me dipende dal fatto che le donne, particolarmente dal sud del mondo, si dia la possibilità di spezzare le loro capacità in campo scientifico, sociale e politico. Guido? Sì, sì. È chiusa la cucina? Non c'è più nessuno, niente, perché? È arrivato un signore da Roma, dal ministero. Vorrebbe mangiare. È chiusa la cucina. Peccato, ti avrebbe dato una bella mancia. È aperta la cucina. Si accomodi. Prego. Grazie. Dottore, lei non mangia proprio niente. Sono sette. Buonasera. Piccoli. So che la cucina è chiusa, magari è una cosa fredda. Quello che trovate. Guardi, qua è tutto buonissimo, scelga lei. Qualcosa di leggero. Bene, allora abbiamo carne, una bella bistecca pesante, oppure agnello, rognone, fegato fritto, intriso, impanato, altrimenti pesce. Pesce, pesce. Bene, abbiamo un rombo grasso grasso, uh, oppure baccalà imporchiettato, intriso, unto al Gran Marnier, eh, altrimenti un salmone magro. Eh. Un salmone, molto gentile. Contorno? C'è anche il contorno. Eh, certamente. Abbiamo funghi fritti, 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 oppure patate imburrate al burro di Nancy con crema squamosa, o... Non ci sarebbe un'insalatina leggera, leggera, se no niente. Un'insalatina leggera? Beh, mi dispiace perché i funghi fritti, fritti, fritti erano veramente eccezionali. Allora abbiamo detto insalata leggera, salmone magro e un bicchiere di vino bianco. Perfetto, più presto che può, eh, per favore. Faccio il possibile. Risolvi nel tempo che ti dà la soluzione. Giusto? Giusto. Bianca neve in mezzo ai nani. Buonanotte, dottore. Buonanotte, genio. Bianca neve. Cosa ha detto? Bianca neve, cos'è, ubriaco? È un indovinello, fra sette minuti. Fra sette minuti? No, fra sette minuti è la soluzione, no? Bianca neve in mezzo ai nani. I nani sono sette, sono piccoli, sono minuti. Bianca neve che sta in mezzo a loro, dove sta? Fra sette minuti. <ride> no, il dottor Lessing è un medico, è una persona serissima, però è fissato per gli indovinelli. Proprio, sono sicuro che non ci dorme la notte. <ride> Ho capito. Scusate, la scuola Francesco Petrarca. Francesco, la, la scuola elementare è una bellissima scuola. Ci insegna una mia amica. È qui vicino, perché? Bene, possiamo dormire una mezz'ora in più. Ma perché? Lei domani mattina deve andare lì a scuola? Sì, mi aspettano alle otto e mezzo.
name is Marie and I'm a liberated woman. All these products, because I'm worth it. Well, Marie, do you really think you're a free and liberated woman? Do you know the smell of fast food is deliberately designed to produce an emotional reaction? The travel pictures are deliberately chosen to arouse your desires. The bank slogan is specially created to play on your fears. And your body cream has been developed to spark a desire from within your brain. You didn't realize that, of course. Why should you? It's all calculated using the latest technology from neuroscience, like an MRI or an electroencephalogram. These new sales methods have a specific technique to control your brain. It's called neuromarketing. But, my dear consumers, you're not meant to know about it. Neuromarketing is a taboo subject among the companies of the 21st century. Come on, activate your neurons. We'll introduce you to the best kept secrets of the major brands you know well. taboo against women women smoking particularly smoking in the streets he said I want your help on that so I said before I can offer you a, a suggestion or a recommendation I would like your authority to visit Dr. A. A. Brill who is the leading psychoanalyst of his time so I went to Dr. Brill and I said, can you tell me what cigarettes mean to women? And as quick as that, he said, cigarettes to women are torches of freedom that they use to dramatize their objection to the taboo against smoking by men. And then he added as an afterthought, and they titillate the erogenous zones of the lips. So I left and wondered what to do with that information. And I decided we would get debutantes to light torches of freedom in the Easter parade to protest man's inhumanity to women by the taboo against smoking. Within six weeks, 
smoking became an accepted pattern for women throughout the United States. An ancient prejudice has been removed. Today, legally, politically, and socially, womanhood stands in her true light. American intelligence has cast aside the ancient prejudice that held her to be inferior. You mad at your computer? I type with purpose. What is it that you're working on so furious? I'm building a workflow of firing techniques. It's uh, questions and responses, actions and reactions. It's a script taking you through the steps of firing someone. Who's it for? Well, theoretically, you could put it in the hands of anyone and they'd be downsizing immediately. All you have to do is follow the steps. And to better understand how the human brain works and how individuals reach the decisions that they take. For example, how the shape of the spoon in the mashed potatoes, uh, the color, uh, or the design of the masher's image will capture one's attention. So it'll go some way to explaining the elements that help us reach a decision on a subconscious level. Playing with your subconscious to make you buy something is the aim of this new high-tech marketing, which makes us think of a word that, like marketing, begins with an M. Manipulation. Let's check the dictionary. Manipulation, the state of being manipulated, shrewd or devious management, especially for one's own advantage, without the subject's knowledge. It's subconscious, but every time you watch advertising, your brain receives and acts on millions of different bits of information. They provoke emotions you're not even aware of. Like so many others, I had become a slave to the IKEA nesting instinct. Uh, yes, I'd like to order the Erica Bukhari dust ruffles. And this is because barely a moment goes by during our day when we aren't bombarded with advertisements in some form or the other. Posters, billboards, flyers, TV commercials, and internet ads.
because of the commitments you have made to the global goals. Basically, Louis Rainieri's mortgage bonds were amazingly profitable for the big banks. They made billions and billions on their 2% fee they got for selling each of these bonds. But then they started running out of mortgages to put in them. After all, there are only so many homes and so many people with good enough jobs to buy them, right? So the banks started filling these bonds with riskier and riskier mortgages. Thank you, Banjo. That way, they can keep that profit machine churning, right? By the way, these risky mortgages are called subprime. So whenever you hear subprime, think shit. Our friend Michael Burry found out that these mortgage bonds that were supposedly 65% AAA were actually just mostly full of shit. So now he's going to short the bonds, which means to bet against. Got it? Okay. Now fuck off.
I love you forever. You hear me? I love you forever. And I'm coming back. I know you're going to get this message. Professor Brands assured me that you're going to get it to you. Know that I love you. Love isn't something we invented. It's observable, powerful. It has to mean something. Love has meaning, yes. Social utility, social bonding, child rearing. We love people who have died. Where's the social utility in that? None. Maybe it means something more, something we can't yet understand. Maybe it's some evidence, some artifact of a higher dimension that we can't consciously perceive. I'm drawn across the universe to someone I haven't seen in a decade who I know is probably dead. Love is the one thing we're capable of perceiving that transcends dimensions of time and space. All of this is one little girl's bedroom every moment. It's infinitely complex. They have access to infinite time and space, but they're not bound by anything. They can't find a specific place in time. They can't communicate. That's why I'm here. I'm gonna find a way to tell Murph, just like I found this moment. How cool. We love Tars, love. Thank you.